I have brought my sister in with to talk with me about how she has managed to almost completely cure her acne as you can see on both sides of her face. So we're gonna get started. So the first thing she did was like well the first sign she like of trouble that she had was with her gut. Five years ago or so she started getting an intolerance to peanut butter. I think it's because she would layer it like this thick of peanut butter on both sides of her bread then she would put it together and she would eat it and this would be like multiple times a day. The, sadly she developed an intolerance to it and could no longer have peanut butter. And she was fine for a while, you know, going about her thing and then what happened next? Um, well, so I used to be able to like eat everything, I wasn't intolerant to anything. And then it's, it's like Ness said, I grew intolerant to the peanut butter, like I'd get these horrible reactions with my gut, like I'd like sneeze the loo and... Yeah, like intense pains, like she would be bent over in pain from it. So then it moved on to um, bread was the next thing. I couldn't have so a lot of bread. Have gluten. She became gluten intolerant. So then afterwards, like really, it was around the same time I couldn't have dairy either. Like when I, was, when I realized it was the gluten that was upsetting my gut. So I kind of cut that out, but then I was still getting these reactions, and I was like, oh, like, what is it? Like, I can't, I was, so then I thought, oh, well, each time I have, like, cheese or, you know, dairy. I wasn't much of a milk drinker, but I loved mm. cheese. Like, oh. we didn't really like the milk that much. You don't have it in, like, porridge and stuff, but other yeah. than that. Mm -hmm. Well, I always liked soy milk better, because my brother was dairy intolerant, so I used to just drink his milk, because <laughs> it tasted better. But then I'd have like chocolate and stuff and then that would react really badly. So then I cut that out and I was a lot better for a while, like having no dairy, no gluten. Although to be fair, like I would cave a lot, like at parties and I'd just eat it and be like, screw be, like, the custard world. tarts, like, just eat it. cream stuff, like oh, cream and slices. custard. Mm. And it's add all like I'd be eating those at pies and then I'd get the reaction afterwards because <laughs> you live and you learn. And I went off sugar because I was getting the, so after the reactions happened then I completely cut sugar out. But I still had fruit, so I had fructose but I didn't have refined sugar. Mm. And that helped a bit, like having no dairy, no gluten, no sugar. Yeah. I'd be having like these I make recipes because I'd be like I'd be having those cravings for sugar. So I had like, you know, make these sugar free like refined sugar free recipes. But I'd still be getting the reactions, like my skin started breaking out a lot, so I'd get these really sore pustule filled like, like breakouts. cystic acne. Yeah, on my chin and like more on the side. It wasn't as bad as it was a few months ago, like a few months ago was when I hit like the worst. I hit the wall, like it was really, really bad, like I had acne yeah, he... all over my face. And I'd get like these, yeah, I had this horrible reaction. I put it towards the sweet potato chips because I was having a lot of those. Like, so I'd have my little sweet potato chips, but I'm having them like for the two months before, prior, like every weekend. Like I have them all the time because I'm going out with my friends. But I don't think it was just that. But I think it was just because they can have like a lot of cafe sweet potato chips have sugar in them and other stuff and other stuff that you know you don't really want to know about. Like they just cause... Yeah. So that was. I think it's preservatives. I think preservatives because a lot of packaged foods make me made my skin and my gut react. So I mm -hmm. feel like it was. The process, the chemicals that they'd add in there, that was what was reacting to my very sensitive gut. I never had acne or pimples or whatever you call them during, during high, school. high school. Like, I always had really nice skin. I was really... Very blessed. blessed. But before my gut reaction happened, I had really good skin. So it wasn't triggered by hormones or anything like that. Because I knew every time my gut had a reaction, that was when I'd break out. So it built up, built up. I had these gut reactions. And then it led to... Um, like I said a few months ago. So about March this year I had like the really severe like breakout. It was like really a hot mess guys. It wasn't nice. <laughs> so we went on the search. So she tried, how many things did you try? You tried apple cider vinegar. Yeah, it's like a for skin a while. cleanser and a toner. About um, March I started doing like different cleansers because I'd be using the more chemical ones. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to get rid of as many toxins from my body as possible. Try and heal so like I that. switched to a natural cleanser. So I used um, coconut oil to kind of cleanse my skin so I put that on about twice a day and just leave it on there to sit you guys if you want to try it out don't just leave it on there about keep it on there for about half an hour and then and wipe it, it off, off because it can clog up your pores and especially see, if you're an oily girl skin, you guess. have bigger pores mm -hmm. so it's gonna clog them up and the lyric acid in it is what helps is like the antibacterial agent which helps to kill the bacteria in your face that's why a lot of people tend to use it then I do a toner which is apple cider vinegar and I wasn't very good with that. I should have been more strict but I didn't. I just kind of like, oh. Because that's also antibacterial as well. Mm. I did ingest a lot of it so what I do is I, 
I have it about every time I eat. I have it before the five minutes before I drink. So I have a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water. Mm. So you kind of dilute it because it's oh, very it's strong. strong. So then I was I said I had the apple cider vinegar. I was having so much of that a day, and then I started having tea tree oil, like the pure essential oil. I didn't get like a you know mix or whatever. I just had the tea tree oil. I used that to because it's antibacterial. I just literally just got a, a little cotton ball and just wiped it all over my face to kind of kill the bacteria and it helped heal up my skin a lot the only thing was it dried it out a no lot. end like <gasps> so if you guys are using it probably do spot treatment i just like whacked it all over my skin because i just wanted to clear it up she as quickly as possible to be gone. um slippery elm which you get from your local food store health, health, health food store. stores and that actually that made the biggest difference and you'll find out why later on that made the biggest difference for me but that was where it actually started clearing up my skin a little bit so that was really helping so I was taking about a teaspoon of that a day. But then um, I started talking to my naturopath. She said for me to take MSM, this sulfur, p sulfur powder. I started out with my gut, which and is what I was me. trying to fix up because I knew my skin was related to my gut. So every time my gut would flare up, my skin would flare up. So then um, one of our family friends, had she her daughter had an issue with gluten and, and they went to this Mora therapist and they told us about it and they're like, you should probably check a, uh, one out. Um, my mom and I, we went to research, we researched a Mora therapist around it. She's actually a bio-renaissance therapist. The Mora therapy is the type of machine that they use, right? So bio-renaissance means body and re resonance. Because we're all energy, right? So everything that's created is made from a type of energy and the aura you have is an energy around you. But the, what the machine does, this Byronaissance machine, is it kind of, it sends a, so you, t you use one finger, you got to have it resting on these metal plates. And she has a little metal thing that she kind of presses onto your finger and it sends this message, this energy signal through your body. And it will return it and the noise that it makes tells you if you've got it or if you don't. Like if you have, she, she'll test for bacteria, parasites. Like yeah. metals, whatever it might be in your system, she'll test for it. She said that I had a lot of um, like parasites in my gut. I had 14 out of the 20 types of candida in my gut. And then she wanted to have a look at my eyes because with your eyes, you guys can... There's a little um, like veiny... Not veiny, in the iris, so the coloured part of your yeah, eye. There's like little lines. lines. Like, and they, mine had these little black kind of shadow edges around them, which said that my uh, gut was really low it wasn't that my digestive system was really low it wasn't working properly at all and she also said my liver function was really badly too it was really not good as well like wasn't good because it was having all the stress strain on it put, like put on it because it was trying to digest all the toxins in my body because of all the parasites and bacteria it had, it had a lot of toxins in my body so she said that my liver function wasn't great and the way you tell that is at the top right hand part of your eye so your right side, the top part of your eye, there's like a colour discol discoloration up there. And that tells you how your liver is because your liver is on the right side. And you can also tell how healthy your kidneys are through your eyes as well because your kidneys are on both sides. So I went on, she's given me a lot of herbs. I'm taking MSM, I'm taking F Slippery Elm, this herbal concoction that she made. So I found the more therapy and taking the Slippery Elm, well because Slippery Elm, by the way, the reason why it helped so much was because it kills the parasites. So Slippery Elm is a great parasite killer. MSM to help boost my um, sulfur levels, like, because I love a lot of, because my digestive system is so low, I'm not actually absorbing any nutrients. So my B levels are low, no matter what I'm doing, it's like just not absorbing it through the gut. So I'm having to take B12 and things. Because she kind of through a spray, it. so it's soaked through my mouth instead of through the gut lining. By the way, I was also got this last month. I've gone into a micronutrient diet. Not sponsored. Both of us. Macronutrients are like protein, carbohydrates. That's, that's macros. That's, that's macros. macros. Micronutrients are like your vitamins, your minerals, nutrients. So you like your B12, vitamin A, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and all that. That's your micronutrients. So this plan, which is what Meg and I have been on, basically. Um, helps to increase your micronutrient level through what you're eating. So basically on this plan we've been eating specific foods that are organic because they're like some of them are like worse so to have conventional so we've been having the ones that they said to have organic and then some other ones like which are okay to have conventional. And it's only for a month or so we're doing the 28 day one. We've had to cut out all processed foods which is good. I've actually been feeling a lot better because of it like more energy 
less like kind of brain fog, I guess. Like where you kind of like when forget you're and you're tired a lot. And it caters to almost every uh, dietary need. dietary need. The thing, the thing with the um, the diet plan, it's helped me a lot because it's kind of cleansed those toxins out of my body. But because my body isn't absorbing the nutrients as much, it's not great in a sense. Like it's helping me because the nutrients that I'm getting, it's absorbed better than what it was before. But my nutrient level is still quite low, so I'm still having to heal my gut up to be able to absorb these good nutrients. So that's basically Meg's story of how she's almost cured her acne so far. As mm. you can see again, it's so much better. Nothing on her shoulders, nothing on her chest. It's like kind of sort of went blank. Back blank. to the middle. It's like sort of sucking back in again. So it's a good sign that her gut is healing and we're, I'll, I'll do another video once her acne has completely healed and we'll tell you the process from here until then. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learnt a lot. Um, if you're interested in what she's done, I'll link out all the information in the description below. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!